good mares in the race. Great shame that Edge of Darkness was scratched, but still Queen of Pop is a very good mare. So is Rose Chapeau. And up against them, amongst the boys, Lord Sterling, Proud Treaty, Big Duel, Sidium, the Hippo Griff. He's got more heart than uh, anything, that horse. And Bo Valiant. Now, I think they said his Stewie. Pop on the sun, the Hippogriff have won the start. Away well at Mountie, proud treaty. Premier Prince and Jewel City and wider. And Muros Nymphers very wide indeed. Up the straight they travel. And Rudland sent the New Zealand bred Premier Prince to the lead. Jewel City outside him. The Hippogriff is beautifully positioned. Muros Nymph out three wide. Mountie back in the centre. The Victorian Bow Valiant three wide. Only a fair pace on. Queen of Pop in the centre. The Sun the inside. A length on proud treaty. Then Lord. Lord Sterling, Luskins gain, Vegas done. A length away startation from Rose Chapeau. Concord fly second to last and without respect at the rear. Over to the back they go. 1,400 to travel. And the New Zealand bred Premier Prince is the lamplighter. A length on Jewel Sidium. A length away to the Hippogriff on the inside of Muros Nymph and Oliver's got Mountie in a good position. A length away Bow Valiant. In the middle is Queen of Pop. The great southern gallop of the sun down on the inside. Lord Sterling midfield field. A length away Luskins gain. Proud Treaty shadows her. A gap to Vegas stun. Startation Rose Chapeau. Ahead of Concord Flyer and without respect is last of all. A thousand to travel. Premier Prince is the lamplighter. A length on the big fellow Jewel Sidium. The Hippogriff on the inside of Muros Nymph. A length on Mountie. A length away Bow Valiant. Then Queen of Pop down on the inside of Lord Sterling. Luskins gain is easing clear. Followed by Proud Treaty. The Sun Rose Chapeau. And then Startation and well back in the field down the side they travel back near the rear of the field is Concord Flyer and without respect is last of all with Vegas Stun onto the corner 500 to travel Premier Prince joined by Jewel Sidium Muros Nymph out three deep the Hippogriff is barricaded followed by Mountie Lord Sterling got out then Bow Valiant and Luskins gained back in the centre with Vegas Stun 200 to go the Hippogriff joins Lord Sterling Muros Nymph Jewel Sidium and then Premier Prince and Luskins gain. Here's a go now. The Hippogriff, the leader. Lord Sterling down the outside. New Ross Nymph in the centre. Lord Sterling goes to the Hippogriff. The Hippogriff and Lord Sterling. The Hippogriff in front and won the Bunbury Cup. The Hippogriff beat Lord Sterling. Premier Prince or New Ross Nymph for third. Concord Flyer flew late then Queen of Pop. Jewel Sidium. Luskins gain. Mountie followed by Proud Treaty. Vegas Dunn. Rose Chapeau. The Sun. Startation. Without respect and Bow Valiant back at the rear. The courage of the Hippogriff reigns supreme. Number four, the Hippogriff will beat 11 Lord Sterling, a photo third, 12 Premier Prince and 14 Muros Nymph. Back with more right after the performance by the Hippogriff and the crowd very appreciative of one of the best rides in the race, I'm sure, and uh, also one of the most courageous performances because the Hippogriff has had so many problems during his career. There's a very nice picture of him pushing through and holding out the finish of Lord Sterling. Here's the wider angle shot now. The hippo grip was always well placed. He was just off the speed. He was looking for a run just shortly after they turned the corner. He was able to push up between horses and burst through. Likewise, Lord Sterling was held up for a fair way before coming down the outside from a fair way back in the home straight. He's unleashed his big finish, but right on the line, I do believe the hippo grip was starting to hold Lord Sterling, even though the margin is only slim. Lord Sterling's had his chance to get him right there. You'd say he's just about going to make it to the hippo, but uh, Franklin throwing everything at uh, this gallant son of Balmerino and he's kicked back to keep out Lord Sterling and number 12 has got third Premier Prince one wonders how close it would have gone to winning the Bunbury Cup if Wally had been able to give it that one more run he just hasn't